Hi everyone, in this video we are going to show you how to work with typography in Uncode. Use of typography in Uncode can be divided into three main actions. One, import of the fonts you need to use. Two, definition of font families and typographical options. Three, application of the typographic presets to the elements. The first step is to import the fonts, so let's move on to the Uncode font stacks. Fonts can be imported from Google Fonts, which is the most famous free collection of more than 900 fonts, or from various font libraries such as Adobe Fonts, that needs an Adobe Premium account, and the free and hot font Squirrel, of about 1,000 free fonts. Obviously, if you have any special requirements, you can also use any custom web fonts. For now, let's focus on the basics of typography in Uncode. In this video, we are going to use Google Fonts, which is free, easy to use, and is the preferred choice of most users. Let's import some fonts. I browse fonts alphabetically with a convenient search by name. I can preview them and add to the stack. I import the pop-ins. This is a modern and geometric sans serif typeface I personally love, and the Laura, that is a well-balanced contemporary font with roots in calligraphy, so as to have also a serif variant. Now that we have imported the fonts, we just need to save the page, and we can move to the Theme Options Typography to define the typographical options and settings. In the Font Stack menu, we have imported the fonts, Let's make them now available in Uncode's theme options so they can be used. Typography uses a variable model approach. Variables, in programming languages, are containers for storing information. Uncode does not use fonts directly, but refers to font instances. Adding a font family is easy with the Add New button. When I create a font name, I prefer to use the font name and type in parentheses. The title can be changed at any time. The name is purely descriptive, since each font family is referenced by a unique font ID. In the Uncode font dropdown, there is the list of imported fonts. In our case, Laura and Poppins, and manually entered. If you need to use a custom web font or a system font. Assume that the customer asks to change a font that has been used in many parts of the site. By changing the source, the change will be available on all pages, since the font is finally defined by the ID. This is a great saving of resources and time. Continuing on this page, there are the definitions of other basic typographical rules. The default font size and the large text font size, all HTML heading from H1 to H6, that are quite intuitive, and other options such as custom font size, the custom line height, and the custom letter spacing. As a designer, we expect to have consistency between pages. In a few words, on this page we created our typographic presets. Now move on to the Customize tab and use them. In the Customize tab, you can use the font properties created in the Typography tab. Let's see how to do it. For this example, we have created a page here. The page is actually using a system family font. As you can see, all the elements use the same font. In fact, in the General tab, the Body Font Family option is assigned to our default font. I assign our Poppins font. I set the Body Font Weight to 300. That is a good setting for this font when used at a small size and save the page. Refresh the page. Perfect, now our main body font on the page is Poppins. Let's go back to admin and selectively edit the family font of the headings. I want to use our serif Laura font, so we have a nice variation. I also use a font weight of 600 in order to differentiate our headings even more. Save the options, page refresh, that's perfect. The main menu and button are not very noticeable. Let's modify these elements. I go to the menu tab and apply the same font family used for the headers. 
I do the same thing in the Buttons and Forms tab. Save the changes and go to see the result. Page refresh. That's great. Both menu and buttons integrate very nicely into the design. Thanks to the Customize tab, in a few clicks, we've really changed our design and everything is centralized. Now let's see how to use the typographic preset, also on the Page Builder modules, to create variations. To do this, let's open our page with the front end editor, or if you prefer, with the back end version. For example, I want the headings Hi There and About Me to have a different style from the other headings. I open the heading module. In the font family, I set Poppins. In the text transformation, I set the uppercase value. And in letter spacing, I choose 0.5 EM. Perfect. While we are with the options, let's try to colour the heading text in red. Very good. I repeat the same options for About Me. Here we go. It can now change the font weight and colour for this heading to make it look like a quote. To close, let's modify the main heading font size. Ah, now, it seems perfect for a page header and the legibility is amazing. As you have seen, thanks to Uncode's typographic options, we have in a few clicks completely modified our design and we can work on every kind of element selectively with a centralized method.